bringing healthcare, if you like, and Formula One together has had a number of benefits. The first has been about teamwork, where we've learned to function in a much closer and tighter way around some basic protocols of how to do it. Um, and we've learned about the use of data, particularly big data. Um, they suck in so much data from a racing car as it whizzes around the track now that they drive their strategy and their decision making and their design based on the information coming back from the car. And the squiggly lines they see on a screen from the engine are just like the squiggly lines we see on an intensive care screen. So if they can predict when something's going to go wrong with the car, why can't we adapt that technology to predict when something's going to go wrong with a baby and try and um, build algorithms which will help us intervene and provide decision support? The other thing we've learned is um, developing 3D printing. I mean, it's gone in parallel with many industries, of course, but they're sort of leaders in the field. And recognizing that you can, um, by showing people things and modeling them, particularly the heart, you can actually teach a parent or a child about what they've got. And we can rehearse the operation and get better at it. Um, so I think we've learned a progressively larger and larger amount. We've still got masses to go. And I'd say that the next big thing for us is logistics. Formula One teams shift so much stuff around the world every two weeks, an unimaginable amount of kit, and the race always starts on time. We can't even get an operating list to start on time. So we've got a lot to learn from just how they project plan all of that stuff that we don't currently do in healthcare.